Hi everyone, I will talk about how do you validate the form using the JavaScript. What is validation? Validation is nothing but to verify the data. Whichever data has been entered, whether the data is correct or not. If the data is correct, then only the form will be submitted. Otherwise, the form will not be submitted. Once you have entered the correct data, then the form will be submitted. The data will be sent to the server side application. Then the server side application can receive the data and do the processing. I will explain username validation, password validation, email validation, and mobile number validation. Here the username must be at least six characters. I entered only four characters here password something, email id not entered proper format, the mobile number I entered only four di five digits. The username must be at least six characters. Then if I, this is the way you can do the username validation. If you want to include the maximum character also, you can include. But here I validating the username only for at least six characters. Then password at least one uppercase, one lowercase, one digit, and at least one special symbols. Okay, this is the validation for the password. I entered something about the email ID and mobile number. If I click and submit, the password is consist of at least one uppercase, one lowercase, and one digit. These are the special symbols I included over there. Then minimum 8 characters and maximum 20 characters. M A D A R at the rate of it is also be not correct. Invalid email ID. Then something gmail dot com. Then if I click on the submit, it is exactly 10 digits. I entered only it is also be not correct. The entered 10 digits. Then if I click on the submit button, it has been redirected to the server side applications. Then here I shown a message, validation successful, welcome to home page. Then get back to the home page. Then this is the way you can validate username, password, email ID and mobile number. Let me explain the code. The form has been designed. The form is consist of username, password, email ID, and phone number. Then here I use the placeholder attribute, placeholder to username, password, email, and mobile number. I also use the required attribute. It is a mandatory field. If you click on submit button, then here valid function will get executed. In that function, I read the code for validating each and every field. Then here I am getting the username from the HTML. I am getting the password. I am getting the mobile number. I am getting the email. Whichever data you have been entered, those data has to be received here. Then I can do the validation. The user dot value dot length, the length of the username must be at least six characters. I did not write the code for at most. Then here document dot get element by id. Here this element to be accessed, span element to be accessed for showing the error message after the text field. Then I am going to validate the password. Here password at value match then variable origin. I am using the regular, regular expression for validating the password. This means that at least one digit, at least one lowercase letters, at least one uppercase letters, at least one these special symbols. The minimum character should be 8, then maximum character should be 20. If the password has been entered that match with this regular expression that is a valid password. Here I wrote the condition 
the password that value match with the regular expression variable then i am accessing that way element span element their password is consist of that message has to be shown see here after that return false the form will not be submitted then i will go for the email validation i will explain the regular expression what is the meaning of this pattern followed by the plus plus means one or more occurrences then any one of these character must be present in email id then it means that alphanumeric characters and underscore then hyphen or digit then followed by the at the rate of then after that it means that alphanumeric characters are hyphen one or more occurrences then followed by the dot more than one dot is also be applicable then followed by then alphanumeric characters are hyphen here what is 2 and 4 2 is means the end of the string must be at least two characters at most four characters a dollar means end of the string then g stands for global search or go global match which will search in all patterns but not at the beginning then i will comes to the email the email one variable dot value that match with the regular expression if the condition returns true then the message has to be shown invalid email format then after that i am checking the mobile number validation then mobile number must be exactly 10 digits you can get the value the value that length not equal to 10 then you show the message to the user the mobile number must be 10 digits okay this code has been used for validating username password email id and mobile number for complete code i will share the link in the comment box go through it do practice if any doubt you can ask me at any time through the comment box thank you thank you all for watching my videos